time to talk with Marcel Janssen, who's now in his sixth season at Hamburg. The last time we talked was seven years ago, when he was an up-and-coming youngster who had just been selected for the national squad. Then came a short stint at Bayern. The midfielder has played under a total of 16 different coaches, nine at Hamburg alone. We want to know what Janssen thinks about impermanence and what it feels like to be Hamburg's anchor point in the club's seemingly ever-changing universe. You haven't had to clean out your locker in the past few years, but you've certainly watched plenty of coaches do it. Yes, it happened a few times back when I was at Gladbach and now at Hamburg. Then there was one at Bayern, though I was only there for a year and a half. I have to admit that in the course of my career I've started to view the position of coach as pretty precarious, though at Hamburg it's been taken to the next level. Was having so many coaches good for your career or more of a negative thing? I don't think I could really say exactly. For me personally, in the situation I experienced, especially as a younger player, let's just say it's normal to need a certain amount of stability where you're playing. That's the best case scenario though. Only a few clubs manage to make that happen, and I personally really don't have to have a perfectly healthy structure around me in order to perform. Although it's been a rough road to travel at times, I've managed to make my way back into the national team, regardless of what's been going on in my club. That's something that emphasizes my desire to succeed and shows that a player can influence a lot all on his own. He doesn't have to blame things on the coach or on the club. I learned that from my father, actually. He always taught me that in the real world, nobody gets to choose their boss. Surely it would have been helpful to have a coach for a little longer. It certainly is for a team. The clubs that are most successful are proof of that. They can show that they've worked to reach goals. Nothing is short-term there. It's all about solid development. Dortmund is the classic example of it, and Bayern has been doing it for decades. The same coach is always in charge there for a few years at a time. Your coaches have changed so often. Do you think you know now when the right coach has come along? I have to say I'm a little jaded by the topic after all the changes, because sometimes the effects were short-lived. But that isn't always just down to the coach. It's the whole package. Because all the coaches that I had here at Hamburg were very good, very experienced coaches. When things like this happen, this cluster of changes, then it's never the fault of single players or coaches. It's always a problem with the overall concept. So that needs to be looked at and thought about. You once said that it's like trying to build a house while constantly hiring a new architect. Yes, I think that both coaches and players want to come into a structure where they know what's expected of them where the procedures are clear. 20 cooks will always spoil the broth. The club needs to focus on developing a philosophy that implements direct channels of communication and responsibilities, from the top flight all the way through to the youth teams. What does a house look like after so many different architects? Well, it's going to be less than ideal. You can see that in the surroundings, often expressed as fan dissatisfaction, because they have a very good sense of whether what's been built will hold up and what's fun. That doesn't mean you always have to win. So if the club isn't a constant, then the only thing left is your responsibility as an individual player. Yeah. Absolutely. To be responsible and constant. Exactly. That's just the point. I think that players have to internalize that concept first before they can move on to something else. I've noticed a certain mentality that's crept in at Hamburg over the last few years. In the draw for the German Cup, I'll hear things like, any team, as long as it isn't Bayern. But there's nothing cooler, no better game than to play against Bayern in the evening. And if you play above your own level, Level, which you have to do to have a chance, but it's possible if unlikely. Anyway, if in the end you beat Bayern, then you have a shot at the cup. 
That's what I don't understand. Not this, if we play Wolfsburg at home, we can be satisfied with the draw. This way of thinking that's crept in here. I don't share it. I'm too ambitious for it, and I don't understand it.